spooky, off-the-track thoroughbred that crowds. Or, uh, uh, whatever, you're holding in the fight like this, you're going to go, oh my god, what's the matter? Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So I'm going to give her a looser line. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is have her turn to the right. So, um, she will only turn to the right if I do this, correct? Will um, she get out of my way? Yeah. Yeah. She will get out of my way? Um, sometimes. Yeah. Well, she's not getting out of my way. Right? There. Merely. Okay. And then she just hit me with her shoulder. I turn to the right again. I don't put my hands in her face. I just go. Right? Yep. So, or else that would be overkill, right? She's like, I got it. Yep. As far as she's concerned, I'm going, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Right? Because I'm talking to you. Sure. So that's why it's a lot for her to take in. She's like, what new are you going to tell me? What else are you going to tell me that I've never heard before? Right? So I give them a lot of credit, you yep. know, for being able to pick up this stuff yep. with some body language. Yep. Right? And some consistency, you know. But how old is she? Seven. Yeah. So for her seven years, she hasn't had one let her use her own mind. You know. Yeah. Well, three, three of her seven years were out at pasture, so. Yeah. How many? Two and a half or three. Yeah, that was the best years of her life. Yep. Yeah. Good. So even a back foot, you know, it doesn't matter. You, you, you anything, did this. Anything. Anything is good. Right. Back. So that's why, like I said, I'd rather use that and kick her in the chest than be ripping on her face. Okay. Good girl. Yeah. And uh, as they, like, when they know the answer to the question, they feel better, right? Yes. It's like in, in school, I sucked at pretty much everything except recess and art, maybe. <laughs> but if the teacher called on me with a, a mathematical equation, you know, I'm ducking. Yeah. If they said, what's two plus two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So you feel really good. She feels good when she knows the answer to the question yeah. and not left out there in the breeze wondering what to do next or what's going to happen next. Yeah. You know? Um, so, yeah, now that she knows, like I said, I don't need to. in her turn, right? Yep. Absolutely. And knows that I'm going to lift on my line instead of doing this and yep. pulling her on me. Right. And then wonder why she's spooky, right? right? Yep. Because like you said, that just, you know, what do they do? Is that too much? When the vet comes, here, you hold her down while I give her a shot. So she's being held down yeah. in her mind when she's let, that doesn't right. give her confidence. Yeah. Yep. Girl, but they're so they're so intelligent on what they can learn, you know, with a consistency. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's a rubber. Yep. You okay? Yep. Yep. So both hands up, soft, soft, bite. Drop the aids. Yep. I'll remind her. Good. Good. So when that head goes over me, I say. You shouldn't put your head over me, okay? If I'm coming in, it's not your job to throw your head over the top of me. All right, so I'm gonna do it again. My energy is way down, all right? Yeah. When I'm rubbing her, yeah. I'm gonna pick my energy up. Saw, saw, but bump, that's the wrong direction, baby. So you have to yield to my feet, okay? So I'm just gonna use the halter, bumper, bumper, bumper. Bumper, bumper. Yeah. He's like, I don't want to go to the right. I only go left. Looking for that right front. Take a step away. Okay. Try it again. I didn't ask you to go anywhere, Evie. She's used to being micromanaged like this. Yeah. She's like, I have a loose line. I need to go somewhere. Right. She doesn't need to go somewhere. If I'm not going anywhere, she don't need to go anywhere. Yeah. So I always rub her first because I don't want her being afraid of the bat. Yeah. 
Aids are off. Here we come. Soft, soft. I know you're ready to poop, but if a horse would come at you, you would move really quickly. If a horse that outranks you is coming towards you. Yeah. Good. Good. That's it. Good job. Right. Okay. So this is like I'm on her back, all right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say you can walk on. Tap her up. What did you do with the shoulder? Uh, so I, when she looks outside to the right, yep. I'm going to lightly tap her head to come into me. And when I tap her head to come here, I don't want the whole horse to come in on right. top of me. So head in, shoulder off. So. All right, so you're using I the suggest, bottom of your wrist also? I suggest with the butt end. Like this, she can't help but be in my face 
Right. And when you pull her back, you got a horse on top of you. Yeah. See? Right. Yep. She can't help it. The halter's telling her to come over here and bring her feet over here. So you're going to have to learn to say, get on your own feet. See how that sticks nowhere near her head? Yeah. All right, so I'm looking over her wither, pushing the air, not forward E. See why I'm looking at E? Good. Sideways. Yep. So when I'm leaning, my right hand is down low because she can see when I go E, E, and ooh, and she can see that little lift yep. of my right hand. E, B, walk on. So I'm going to use this move to get old. Usually I only need to do this day one. I don't keep doing this, okay? It's just because a horse, most horses have never had to go right unless you do this. Because people are always going, always going to the left. Yeah. This yeah. does not give your horse confidence. Right. Yep. Got Literally, you. the horse is moving your feet, technically. And just wrapping around you, okay? Totally agree. Yeah. So here we go, Evie. I hope you're paying attention. Saw? The minute she tipped her head, I dropped the eights. And now look where I'm going. Good girl. Good. And if the shoulder touches me, it gets whacked because Evie knows where she ends and I begin. Yep. Right? Without the stick, both hands up. Round the eight, looking over her wither, because that's where I want to go. Yep. And this is what I want you to work on. Slow down, step over, and walk up. So I can't go right on the rail, or I have nowhere to push her. Okay, I'm heading to me. I'm looking one. So I'm going to practice slowing her down, a step to the right. And walk on. This is her main problem with crowding, and this is what I'm going to right? Yep. So if I don't practice it before she's on top of me, I won't know what to do. So I'm going to practice her crowding, getting her off of me. See, I lean back and wiggle. Look, push the air. That gets her off of me. I'm not getting this stick anywhere near her face. So she's pointing toward me when I take a step, I'm going to say, slow down, get off, and get up. So I'll do one more lap. And what, when you say get off, what is happening with you right now? I'm telling her to get off with me. Okay. So, so what is the aid you're using to tell me that? All right, so she's on me. Yes. So the aid is this. I'm going to call this my wing. Pushing the air. I'm looking over here, if she doesn't move, I'll pinch her here. Okay. All right? Yep. So if she's going too quick and on me, I can't get her off of me if I'm racing, right? So that's why I want to slow her and push. Don't go ahead of me. Don't run off. I want you to go sideways just to give me space. All right? Yep. So I'm going to coach you saying, Slow her, see I lean back and wiggle. Look over her wither, get your wing out and push. That's how you get her off of you when she taps. But do you see my right hand at my leg? Yes. So if she's got a back, that's how I tap her off. Yeah. So right here, she's going quick, so I'm going to slow her. Slow. That's forward easy. Okay, I need sideways. You run into that. Sideways. There. And too bad. Not too bad. Maybe if I add this, I got something. Alright, so now you keep them all over. Alright. So, give me that big whip, please. Yep. So she's like, I'll just stand there and take it. I'm used to a chain over my nose. It's nothing. <laughs> just wiggling that rope class is here. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to go side to side and kick Evie. Okay? 
Sticking yep. her with the rubber end is a lot kinder than, oh, I get that, than shanking her face. Back. Look at her hip so she don't run off. Back. Good. And it's down. Good. All right. So I can talk about lunging the horse in this video. I did have the owner lunge her first. She did not halt when asked. She kept going around in circles and ended up very close to the owner because of little tugs to the lead rope. I had the owner work with every different thing that I did with her mare. This takes much practice to get everything flowing. I always recommend horsemanship lessons at my farm to perfect the new cues and get out get rid of the old muscle memory of pulling back. I removed the chain over her nose and replaced it with a rope halter. In the future, a regular halter would have been more than enough. Walk on. So we know she can go around all day and check her brain out. I want her to be able to walk and halt. Mm -hmm. So Evie and whoa. Good. Now, she's used to turning in. I like that she stopped. I can push her out, but not forward. Remember, that meant get off the halter. So push her out, yes, to that right front. Yeah, I, don't, I don't want her swinging in. No, no, we don't. Walk on. We would only want her to swing in if, if we asked her to do that. Yeah. And that looks like this. That looks totally different. Okay.
right there. See my body language and the whip is down? Yep. That means I ain't going nowhere. Yep. Now I'm going to go toward the rail. Easy walk on. Body cap. Then I'm going to squat. Easy. And whoa. Good girl. Wish she made a mistake at the end. So I don't want her running through the bridle. That's why I get her off of it. Walk on. Evie and whoa, good girl. Now I'm gonna get my distance and hope that she's gonna listen a little better. Evie and whoa, good. Softly, I use the butt end. Softly push that head out. So that right front takes a step away. Start her down. Good girl. Good girl. Evie and wool. Good. All right, your turn. Good girl. Good girl. So, the turn. When she's crowded, you know, all of her arms, because that's how she's been led. Yep. When you ask her to step to the right, it's the first part of that turn to the right, okay? And then just keep going. So it's slow down, first part of the turn to the right, and continue on. Okay. And because I said, this one's hard for me to teach. Right, but she's gonna do it for me because she goes, Kathy's coming over, I better get out of her way. Yep. So this leading position, you can get a lot done. All right, this lateral move yep. is very valuable. Lovely. Right? Yeah. As is the turn to the right. All right? Yep. Because she is yielding to my feet. Mm -hmm. All right, and it makes her feel better being with somebody that's a her leader. So she, because she's led by this, I can see her, she wants to spin. Yeah. You know, and that's why I have to say, hey, slow down, yep. stay on your own feet. Yeah, that's, it's foreign to her mm -hmm. to stay on her own feet. Good. So she don't, so she'll go away from me. 
through here and then I'm going to tell her whoa right yep. and keep her off of me until I open the door and invite her yeah right so I'm going to invite her I'm going to send her out like we lunch her and change her direction and back her up 